This is a ballistic pendulum. We have a steel ball with a hole drilled in it, and it's going to get mounted on a rod. We'll depress it into a spring launcher. This is the catcher. When I trigger the spring, there's going to be a collision. And then this acts like a pendulum to swing up. There's a ratcheting mechanism up here that allows this thing to swing easily up, but catches so it won't come back down. Your goal is to find the velocity of that ball just at the launch. You're going to need the mass of the ball, that's 63.5 grams. The mass of the catcher is 100.5 grams. And we're going to assume this rod is massless and all the mass is right here. I'm leveling the camera with the bottom of the ball. We get about six centimeters above the deck. Now we'll get the final height of the ball in the catcher. Again, trying to level the camera with the bottom of the ball, I get about 13.7 centimeters above the deck. Now you do the math. Find the velocity of that ball. Stop the video and try to do the math by writing out all your work neatly, draw a diagram, label everything. Now, do you think that there's another way of getting that velocity independently of the ballistic pendulum? How about I swing the pendulum out of the way and pull the trigger? Oh, we got projectile motion now. That's where the ball hit, that's the mark. From the bottom of the ball, right where it lines up, I'm getting 49 centimeters to the dot. That's the range. And now I have to get the height to the bottom of the ball from the lab table. A little trickier because I don't want to measure from the deck, I got to get down to the lab table. I get about 8.8 .8 centimeters. Now you can compare the velocity of the ball found from projectile motion to the velocity of the ball found using the ballistic pendulum. Can you explain why there's a difference? Go back and watch the video in slow motion when the ball hits the catcher and look how it settles down when it rises up. 